Following several days of mass protests that had gripped the country on a national level, the Egyptian army has ousted the country's first democratically elected president, Mohamed Morsi, in a move described by the ousted president as a full military coup. That was the final decision after army's 48-hour ultimatum for political factions to reach an agreement came to an end. General Abdel Fattah Sisi, head of Egypt's armed forces, accompanied with religious authorities as well as political figures, announced the decision and presented a political roadmap for the transition period. Based on the army's roadmap, the much disputed constitution has been suspended temporarily and Adli Mansour, the head of the country's Supreme Constitutional Court, has been named as the acting president until early elections are held. Do you concede that by utilizing what appears to be a loophole that your lawyers have found in the law, that the, the reputation and the influence that the United States has in other countries is thereby tarnished? If you are going to pick and choose which situations you want to see as unique situations and therefore not applicable to the law, therefore you don't have to make a determination about whether there's a coup, a leader in any other country or a military in any other country could decide that if they could decide that they will go ahead with uh, removing a legitimately elected president because there's no longer this fear that the United States will cut off military and economic aid. Well, I'd first refute the notion this was a loophole. It was not. It was reviewed by our lawyers and determined that we did not make, need to make a decision or determination, a public determination about whether or not this was a coup. The second piece I would convey is that uh, I don't think it would come as a surprise to anyone that our own national security interests, issues related to regional stability, the voices of millions of people are all factors. Every scenario is different. But we are continuing to review. We do not anticipate that we're going to make an evaluation here. That's not what I'm suggesting uh, related to a coup or not. But we're continuing to review our relationship as it relates to aid with Egypt, uh, and that's ongoing. Uh, so, you know, I, I would convey that to anyone who has concerns about the announcement that was made. Have you made a private determination? You keep emphasizing that you do not believe that you're required to make a public determination. Have you made a private determination? I, I, I'm, I'm convinced. It's, it's the law, the, this is related to our public determination. But have, I you don't, made, have you made a private determination? I don't have any more for because you, or the, shot the on law, our private the law conversation. Doesn't, just so you know, the mm -hmm. law doesn't say public determination. It says determination. Well, so if you have a determination of any sort, then it seems to me one could plausibly argue you have not followed the law. Thank you for your legal analysis. Uh, we have determined that we do not need to make a determination about whether or not this Public is Public or private. Yes. Uh, Senator John McCain said yesterday that there is no national security waiver in this law. Am I confused here because you keep saying that it's in our national security interests not to make a determination here? So I think there's some confusion about what we have announced. We've announced that our legal we have determined legally we do not need to make a determination as to whether it is a coup or not a coup. Beyond that, we're going to continue to work with Congress to abide by our legal obligations. If steps are needed, we will work with Congress to take those steps. Does that mean that a determination could be made later? We're not, that is not our plan, no.